Now it is thunderstorm season. It is that time of year and with severe thunderstorms, the higher threat for damage and even loss of life. Here's a look at severe weather preparedness in the basin. Severe weather. The sounds and sights of it are not too uncommon in the Permian Basin, but it's the time of year where it strikes more frequently. With severe weather season upon us, it's more important than ever to remind ourselves of the main threats and to be prepared. Amber Lujan, the National Weather Service's Warning Coordination Meteorologist in Midland, emphasizes the importance of going over preparations when a severe weather watch is issued as much as one to four hours before severe thunderstorms fire off. When a watch is issued, the best thing to do is just remain aware uh, that severe weather is possible. When severe weather is imminent or occurring, put that plan into action when a warning is issued. High winds from tornadoes and many thunderstorms pick up not only dust that lowers visibility, but also flying debris. According to Lujan, it's straight line winds which cause the most damage in the basin. I have done storm damage surveys where it's 120 mile an hour straight line winds and it has completely destroyed a mobile home a manufactured home. To avoid flying debris, Lujan mentions to hunker down in a small space with as many walls between the room you're in and the exterior of your shelter. You definitely want to be inside a sturdy building uh, when thunderstorms are occurring. Behind straight line wind damage, Lujan mentions that hail damage is very common in the area. Baseball size hail falling, fall speeds can be up to 100 miles an hour, which can kill someone if it hits you in the head. Sometimes associated with hailfall is heavy rainfall. Not only heavy rain, but also flash flooding. Poor drainage areas and varying rocky landscapes in the basin can make it difficult for water to run off. Water can move through sand very easily, but caliche is very hard. Um, it's not going to move uh, through that soil very well, um, and so it creates what we call runoff. Whether it's heavy rain, hail, high winds, or other severe weather phenomena. Lujan mentions that it's vital to know where to take shelter. It could be a distant gas station. It could be, you know, if you're close to the interstates, a lot of the um, rest stops have storm shelters. Situational awareness is key during severe weather. Every morning that you get up in the severe weather season, check what the weather's gonna be like. If there is a chance for storms, make sure that you have some good apps. With severe weather season typically lasting through mid-June in the basin, with a peak in intensity typically around Memorial Day weekend, it's important to be prepared. Remember, when thunder roars, be indoors. In the studio, I'm meteorologist Ryan DePhillips, ABC, Big Two News. Now for severe weather updates and access to live radar, download the Your Basin app. We are your local weather authority. We will keep you up to date with the latest weather news. And for more information on this story, please visit yourbasin.com.